and welcome to the Board Game Back Cave. We're excited to be back this week with Kingsburg, <laughs> which uh, we've been trying to get to the table for a long time. Long time. Yep. And finally did, and so now we got our thoughts on it. So we'll start down here on this end with components. Components. Um, the board looked good. Uh, I like the, uh, it's cartoony, you know, yeah. it's not very realistic or anything. Uh, you've got your, you got your board. Your yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> you've got your board, you've got your cards, your little wooden doickies or whatever. Um, uh, I thought it looked cool, looked pretty, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. nothing just jumped out at me. Right. Nothing made me thought, wow, this really makes the game, this makes it stand out or whatever. They do it good. They don't do it great, in my opinion. You know, I mean, it was nothing special to me. So I'm going to go a short and sweet. I'm going to go a 6 5 on this. We respect your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's higher than that. I think it's, uh, you're right, It's it doesn't do anything spectacular, yeah. but it doesn't do anything wrong. It's for what it is. Is it above average? What do you want from me? <laughs> Slightly above average, in my opinion. You know. I don't know. It's. Um, I like the artwork. Yeah. I think for what it is, it's a resource management construction game. It's theme. We're not the theme yet. Components. I know, but for what it is, the components do the job. Yeah. I do wish that they would have gone. You know, tried to schmooze me a little bit more with the components. It, it, you know, the cubes are getting old. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah, I mean, uh, components you've seen in literally 30 other games, sure. you know. Absolutely. So I'm going to go 6.75. <laughs> <laughs> I will accept that. Uh, subtle so, differences. There. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a subtleness, mm -hmm. you know. It's mm -hmm. a shades of gray. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it's... It gives you what you need, and what it does, it does just fine. It's it's a classic, you know, it's a large game board. You've got your victory track around the outer edge. You've got some other, your time track and your season tracks and stuff like that. So it's kind of a classic board game, um, it's like, but I like the it's art. It's like the girls that, that you, they say, he does the job, <laughs> no bells and whistles, though. It's not what you're looking right. for with, with Mike on date. You know, you're going to get the movie and the dinner. That's right. Date He'll is get the job word. done. Yeah, get the job done. <laughs> so, <laughs> that uh, is about a seven, then, I guess I'm going to have to say. So, um, yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine, but it's, you've seen it plenty before they're not breaking any new ground but uh, I do like the artwork just fine yeah. and um, it works so seven cool okay that leads us right into theme theme uh Wow, you mean it's a resource gathering and management game? And it's set in the it's, medieval times. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's absolutely. awesome. I've never seen that except for the 30 other <laughs> times we played it. Sure. All, all kidding aside, the theme, what I did like about the theme was, uh, you know, a lot of the, well, quite a few of them, it's more based in reality. This is based in a fantasy kingdom or whatever. You're building your own kingdom or your churches your cathedrals making a fantasy town fighting off demons and orcs and goblins and whatnot or whatever you know and the merchants are all fantasy-ish you know and stuff like that so uh the theme it's i'm gonna go the site maybe slightly higher than i gave on the components it's an interesting theme you know if you like this kind of game, it was pretty cool. Slightly different with it being fantasy instead of based on really like uh, Puerto Rico. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Uh, so theme, I'm sorry guys, you just didn't stun me with it. I'm gonna go seven though. You know, the theme, I like this kind of game and it they did it pretty well, so seven. They, it was a, it's a safe theme, I think, yeah. is what they yeah, did. It's, it's a Euro game. It's very game. popular <coughs> nowadays, you know. 
it's a, it's a very euro -y game. You don't have to fight each other. You don't have to worry about fighting the orcs and demons and stuff. And then there's really the combat is over with instantly. It's not like there's any kind of... Yeah. I mean, you can build up. It's, the game is not yeah. about the combat. It's, right. the combat it's more about building. Yeah. You know, That's just thing another, yeah. one other thing to kind of keep up with. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, the theme, better than Agricola... <laughs> you know what is it really? yeah. pig farmers but, yeah. It, but it, yeah it's I think it's just a safe thing because they knew that people would understand the whole mm -hmm. kingdom building thing so yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go six the yeah. thing is really not what got me on this game no. yeah I agree as well what makes this game shine is <coughs> coming coming a little bit later but um it, it it works and i think chris hit it right on the head i think they knew we've got a really good mechanic here that's going to make this solid gameplay so we just need to put something on this that people are going to recognize and and already know and thank god this was before the zombie craze <laughs> so they didn't go with that you know so um zombie accountants <laughs> But yeah, so uh, for me also a, a little bit lowish sounding rating, but it in the end it doesn't make that big a difference to me in the overall gameplay. But I'll give it a six point five. I want to throw something in there real quick. While we're in between, I know. <laughs> while we're in between theme and gameplay, uh, I do like these kind of games. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is for all of you new gamers, new game makers, and stuff like that. If Anybody of y'all watch this kind of stuff? Everybody, does. Everybody yeah. does. Only the designers watch this show. There are a hundred games like this out there. And we're probably going to buy more of the same thing in the future. <laughs> if you're going to keep on making game management, you know, or game resource management games, do something creative. Give me the same stuff I've seen do you over have any and suggestions over. Again. Or I do just, not, are you just but I'm a, I'm a, rocks at I'm a game player, them? not a game oh, maker. You okay. know, okay. so if you're gonna do a game like this, do something new. Uh, you know, with the theme. If you're gonna I'm a pastry chef, yeah, well, but know. I eat donuts. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can be a resource manager, pastry chef. Like you, you got. Muffins well, and, you got and I hate to say, got cakes. This <laughs> kind of game, even the smallest <laughs> tweaks, are not going to make me think, "Wow." Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to see a, a game like this, and it's just going to be off the hook and totally different. And it's totally nineties. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I mean, really, we've seen these games over and over again do something different. Okay, it, it sat me whenever <laughs> I, the next. Time. And I think he just let himself right into gameplay with that. Mm -hmm. Gameplay, uh, Segway. same thing we've done over and over again. There are a dozen games right behind me where I'm gathering stone and lumber and gold or no sheep. No, no sheep, no but sheep. sheep and you get the you get the gist of it though. I'm doing stuff. I'm bartering with merchants or somebody to get stuff from them. The gameplay on this one is kind of cool because you're rolling dice, and that's an interesting gameplay fact that I haven't seen before. That's kind of cool, so it adds that element of chance or whatever. But you can buy those things with your dice in different ways, you know. Yes. You have some modifiers to that. You can use one dice here, two dice here, or all three dice to buy, you know, stuff from the different merchants or whatever. But, uh, you know, that little bitty interesting thing to it does not make a cool game in my book mm -hmm. same thing you know get resources build stuff fight monsters a little bit at the end of every turn and that's about it so i mean guys really six five for me you mm -hmm. know a little bit mm -hmm. above average just because i like these kind of games mm -hmm. but not a standout in my book I don't know. I, the gameplay is what shines on this game to me. It's real too. Yeah, it's it's very. It, it has a lot of moving parts that you got to keep track of. Um, I won't say to say something about the learning curve too on this. 
easy easier learning curve on this game than some other resource gathering yeah, management games. We played some games that the strategy is crazy. And uh, yeah, it's no Puerto Rico. No, right. and you can pick this up. And younger younger kids, you know, I think it said minimum age fourteen for this game. I can see that younger people are going to be able to grasp this a little bit easier gameplay wise yeah. than Puerto Rico or other games because yeah, learn, learn curve not as high. It's a I don't know. I don't know. I was it was very interesting. I know when I saw it in the mountain of of advisors that you're going to pick from. How they determine where to put, you know, they had to go by probability, and they right. had to go by. I was always not being able to get like stones. Stones is hard to get. It's like right. way over here, yeah. and you're trading for it, and you have to roll high to get it. So, yeah. um, they put some their strategy built into the advisor thing, and I like the fact that you had the two dice uh, to figure out where they were going to, or three dice, three dice, yeah, three dice you're going to put wherever, and so. I, I think that was what would put it, pull me back to play it again, actually, over the theme and the the components is the the gameplay. Um, but so you think just because they tweaked the game mechanics and got it working better, you're going to give that a high score for that? Higher. Yep. Really? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight. Wow. Well, I'll just get ready with another, another wow, because I'm going eight also, because that's, that's what I, I think that's what really makes this game, and that's why this has been pseudo popular for a long time. This game has been around for a long time. It still consistently shows up on top 25 lists. Uh, it it sells well. It's still in uh, circulation. There's you know, a lot so of Euro gamers out there. You can pick this up, and, and to me it's, Rolling the three dice and then trying to figure out not only what's best for me, but can I also slow down one of my one or more of my competitors by blocking off one of, you know their only option that sort of stuff. But is it worth doing that if you're not going to get what you really need this round also? And uh, you know, so uh, I I really I think there's a lot to that. And also, this is another one of those games that. Uh, I think the box recommends three to five players, and I think it's stronger with more, either four or five players. So, um, and I don't think it suffers at all when you get more people in there. In fact, the more people there are, there's more people bidding for those same limited number of resources, and so the competition to get those spots uh, is heightened. So, I like the gameplay a whole lot, and to me, that's what this game really brings. So I'm going to give it an eight. Speaking of gameplay, I think one of the things that the drawbacks of it is that sheet you get where all the stuff you can build, all the buildings you can build. When I got that in the first game I played, I thought, oh, I'm going to get to build all this. It's like building a whole city here. Yeah. Oh, right. And then you wind up only being able to build like eight or nine out of the. 20 or there is some strategy event. to it. You can go a couple of different ways I don't, with it, you know. Yeah, but see, I was thinking about I don't think that I would go a different way, mainly because I went for the victory points or defense, and that's yeah. the only two things I was interested yeah. in. Yeah. So the whole getting the advisors to like you more so you can do something else over there didn't really, I mean, maybe it would, but it seemed to me that you, they gave you so many options they should either pare down the options to be more simplified or they should allow you to buy more. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have time because you're always worried about getting killed <laughs> that you didn't have time to build everything, I don't think. Right, yeah, no, you, you're never going to be able to, in the amount of time and the number of turns, production turns there are, you couldn't build everything on that sheet. So they're breaking it, in my opinion, they're breaking it down to if there's more people playing, you're probably going to build your city a little bit differently. You're going to try to get all the victory point ones. And if there's fewer people playing, then you might want a little more freedom on the board. Uh, so you might want to be able to influence the advisors differently or something. But anyway, I, to me, the gameplay is what makes this game special. Um, so I like to play there. All right. And that leads us right into replayability. Thinking that, and I'm only 
Uh, the only reason I'm upset is because obviously y'all didn't include me on the free stuff this company must be sending you <laughs> to give it such a high score, really. Yeah, I haven't seen you wearing any of their t-shirts or anything, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that's to come. Uh, replayability. I'm extra large, by the yeah. way. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> uh, re <laughs> replayability. Um, if we're going to play a resource management game like this, there are others I enjoy playing better. You know? Such as? Uh... I don't know. I do like Puerto Rico, actually. It's tougher, but it's, uh, mm -hmm. in my opinion, a much better game. Yeah, it's a know, step up. Obviously. Sure. And I mean, really, the Grand Dam, and I know you said something about it the other night, you know, but if I'm going to play, go old school, go Catan, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, and they've been doing that. How long has Catan been out for? You know, it's the 80s. Yeah, yeah. So 30 years or so or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. yeah. And, um, there's just games that do it better, that I enjoy playing more, the strategies deeper. You know, I would only want to play this game if I wanted to play a resource game and I didn't want to go that deep into strategy, right. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, it would be like strategy light yep. for this game. Yep. And uh, so I think the replay, but if, I'll play it if y'all break it out. But it's not going to hear be, about it the yeah. whole <laughs> game. But it's not going to be a game I'm going to bring up and say, let's play that game again. I hate to say it. I've, I played it twice. I'm good, you know. <laughs> so uh, I would give it a. <laughs> I'm going to give the six on replayability for me. That actually sounds high from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, slightly above average. Slightly, just because I'm hoping for a t-shirt too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nothing special here. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to argue with on replayability because. With so many Euro type style games out there, you know, I'm always looking to play another one. And so this is not going to pull me back away from trying a different, you know, newer game or whatever. Yeah. Or, you know, the old standbys. I still enjoy Agricola and I still enjoy Puerto Rico. Not that I get to ever play them, but, yeah. you know, it is definitely lighter than those games. For sure. Yeah. So if you like. <clears throat> There's a huge learning curve on those other games, and I admit Puerto Rico for this kind of game. I mean, you're not for the beginner. <laughs> it's <laughs> you know? all strategy, and you've got to be thinking several yeah. steps ahead, yeah. and you yeah. better it, not make a mistake. And this, step. I don't think so much on this. Yeah, this it's kind of a free. fly by the seat of your pants kind mm -hmm. of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'm going to go with six and a half. Yeah, this game, uh, obviously, I, I'm going to talk about it in a more glowing fashion than, than the one on the end here, you know, <laughs> but but no, I, I see where he's coming from, and I do get it, and I do think that probably the motto for this game is good, but not great, and, you know, it's it kind of falls into that same category for me of Francis Drake, a game that I like, and when people yeah. mention it, I go, yeah, I like that game, but when we're listing off five, six, eight games that we want to play, that one usually doesn't get picked. You know, it's in the list usually, and, and kind of we said at the very beginning of this review, this is a game we've wanted to get on the table for a long time, but there's always something that's hotter or a, a newer or has a, Prettier. you know, just has a, a, a cooler draw to it. And so it took a long time to get this game out and get it on the table. Get everybody a chance to play it to where we could give it a decent review. But um, all that said, I think it's still a really good game, and I think if you're uh, if you're wanting to have a really deep game collection, this needs to be in there. But it's probably not going to be something you got to have right away, you know. So um, get Francis Drake. I'll probably give it or slightly higher than them and go at a seven. But again, good, but just not great. Just something about it just doesn't grab you. See, I wasn't there for the gaming of it either, or the review, but uh, it looked really cool to me that Robinson Crusoe oh, was yeah. also really, I mean, that looked like you're, you're awesome. Talking to, you're just, you're, you're, <laughs> yeah. you, you pulled the right string on him yeah. on that one. That's yeah. his, his favorite of all. Well, and yeah. comparing that to this or something, there oh. is a twist on something, oh, yeah. you know, and in Puerto Rico, you know, really cool. This game, yeah. Gotcha. Yep. All, all right. right. Well,
you've heard both ends, and uh, now you can make your own mind up because we're going to put the score right there. And um, we'll see you next week on the Board Game Backcade. See ya. Bye.